you, you've got things shot. Where are you going to go with this? You talk maybe about television. Anything that we can expect in the near future? Well, the fourth one should come out hopefully before Christmas. Okay. Uh, we did an interview with uh, this guy, uh, Peter Rosenberg. He's the, the morning DJ at Hot 97, which is the biggest uh, hip-hop radio station probably in the world, and he's this Jewish DJ there. And uh, he came in for an interview, and I think it's pretty funny. It's not going to be like the other episodes, though. It's not much restaurant stuff. It's more of a straight interview. It's more of an actual talk show episode. Well, you have that flexibility to make any episode be what you want that episode to be. Right? I and mean, it doesn't all have to be about the people in the restaurant. Uh, you know, again, it's approached as a talk show, so you have that, that freedom. Totally. You know, that's why I, I love the third one the most because it was like, I don't know, like I have, a, I've had some interest in people wanting to develop the show and somebody was like, we like the show, we like you, but we don't like The Last Jewish Waiter. You know, that's not going to sell. We don't, we don't like The Last Jewish Waiter. Can you come up with something else? So I'm <laughs> like, I like call up my friends. I'm like, I'm like, I gotta come up with something else. This company wants to to buy this thing, and we gotta come up with something else. And uh, fuck, you know, what are we gonna come up with? And then um, I was like, I like Cash Cab. I was like, Cash Cab to me is a pretty perfect show. I was, you know, Cash Cab. I like Cash Cab. Yes. Yeah, I was like, that's a pretty perfect show. The first time I saw it, I was like, this is genius idea. I was like, let's just steal that. I was like. We'll steal cash cab. We'll say it's cash cab in a restaurant where the waiter, uh, you play a game with the waiter. And, um, and you, you know, I didn't have anything to give them, so I thought I'd give them free lunch. And I thought, what a funny name that is. And they were like, we love it. They were like, shoot a sizzle reel. I was like, no, I'm going to shoot an episode for The Last Jewish Waiter, and you can see what it is. And then we shot free lunch, and it was actually really easy. Like, it was the only episode that wasn't, like, murder to make. It was, like, easy as pie because everything happened fast and the customers, like, knew why they were being shot. It was, like, you and, and, like, part of me wants to just do free lunch. You know, it's so easy and funny, and I like to be a game show host. We should definitely do another one. But um, is that something, though, that you can do each and every episode? Well, for who? You know, for the audience? Yes. I think the audience might, you know, maybe my audience right now would get tired of it immediately, but a game show audience might emerge in the wake of the old same last people, year. Same people who would come home from work and put cash cab on at 6 o'clock. Yeah. You know, okay. it's relaxing. You like to see if people are going to get answers right, and you like to see what that guy is going to say. And, you know, with me, I'm crueler than the cash cab host. I don't know. I think that we should definitely do more game shows. Like, I think the game show is a very easy way to get through an episode. Well, and the people, the, the customers seem to have a lot of fun with it. They yeah, enjoy. because they don't feel brokenhearted. They're not like, why is this jerk being a jerk to me? They're like, oh, it's a game show. You know what I mean? Like, it's a reason why this waiter is such a weirdo. You know? Uh, I think the, but I, I personally love the, the, the ability that we have to do anything. Like in in the in the in the the style of Regis Philbin, you know Regis Philbin might have a band on. Regis Philbin will do an interview. Regis Philbin will do a game with the audience. Regis Philbin will do a cooking segment. Regis Philbin he has the ability to do whatever he wants, and we do it in a restaurant. So I think uh, we can. I my biggest two influences for the show are Regis Philbin and The Muppet Show, <laughs> and The Muppet Show is a, a show about a bunch of misfits trying to make a show, right? Yeah. And I like that. It's like not about the show is making the show, and you get the show also. And that's what I wanted The Last Jewish Waiter to be, kind of like a mix of those kinds of things. And that's yeah. it. it it's, been, it's been a lot of fun. The three episodes are terrific. Thank uh, you. Is, I, is this something you can see developing to the point where you could eventually leave Katz's and do this? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, I'm working with some people on something, you know, like, but it doesn't seem like it's going to come soon. You know, it doesn't seem to me like it's going to be a, 
freaking obstacle course of, of success to get out of Katz's. You know, it's going to be take a lot of, like, it's like a, a good streak. It's not going to happen easily, you know, which right. is annoying. I thought I really thought that the, the success of the web series would get me out of Katz's faster than, than I think it is now. I really don't think it's going to get me out of there fast enough. So you'll still be cutting two buckets of pickles and bringing mayo on the side to people who, who ask for it for, for a while. Unless I really piss somebody off and get fired, I will be doing it. Okay. <laughs>